Hey guys, it's Richie from Fret Junkies, and in this upload we have got three killer blues licks, okay? Uh, these are going to be an E-flat, so tune your guitar down a half a step. They're going to be three super usable licks, major and minor, they work over both. Uh, I'm going to give you the bare bones, you know, the skeleton and such, and you're going to put it all together in your own way, make it your own. That's the thing with these lessons that I upload, I want you to kind of take away bits and make them your own, make your own licks, you know, that's what it's all about. Um, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe, like, and share where you can. Plenty of content. If you look back through, there's gear reviews, uh, amp demos, artist lessons. There's all sorts going on, okay? And there's lots more coming in the future. Um, so, yeah, no more talking. I'm going to dive straight in. Make sure to tune that uh, guitar down half a step. And uh, let's dive into the lesson. Okay, guys, so we're going to dive straight into lick one, okay? And this sounds something like this. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to begin on the 10 on the B string and the 12 on the E. It's going to be a double stop. And then on the B string, you want to hammer onto the 11, pull off to the 10. And then hit the 10 on the G string. Then 10, 12 on the B. To 8. With a little quarter tone bend, or even a microtonal bend. I mean, that's a cool lick anyway, right? And then we're gonna go um, nine on the G to nine on the D. And on the D, then we're gonna slide to the 12. Back to the nine on the G string, which would be the E or the E flat, okay? I mean, you could actually stop there, you know? That, that's a good enough lick in itself. But if you want to take it up to the thicker strings, we would just go 12 on the D, 12 on the A. So 12 slide to the 13, pull off to 10. Slide to 11. And now we're going to hit a chord at the end, okay? So we're going to go 11 on the A, 12 on the D, 13 on the G, 14 on the B and E. There's a lot of tension in this chord, I really like this chord, and you can end, you know, pretty much on anything with that. Um, so again, from the start, slowly. And there's loads of variations you can do this, you can kind of make your own and come out of it how you want, or go into it how you want. Again, giving you the bare bones, okay? So, so many different ways. But for, for this, we are just looking at... Okay, so one more time slowly. That's the bit that might take you a little bit of getting used to, and that's just the finger hopping, okay? Okay, so that's lick one, and lick two is going to be a short one, uh, but a really cool one, okay? And this lick you can take anywhere, it's going to sound really cool, uh, so... But I like it here, so we're going to begin... Okay, you're going to begin on the 12th, uh, and your finger is going to be different. You're going to start with your second finger in because you need to get a first finger be up behind the, f the first box if we're coming out of number one, okay? Um, so we've got D, 12. And there's a little bend again there, okay, on the G string. 10 on the B, 12. To 12 on the G string with a bend and resolve to the E, okay? Oh, sorry. And you can walk down the pentatonic to finish it off. Or 
fourth finish to the chord, whatever you want, you know? Uh, so we've got slowly again. Okay, and into the final lick, this is another quick one, but this one, you've got to get the inflections right and this to sound right. Um, if you just play it without the hammer-ons in the right place, or the pull-offs in the right place, it doesn't sound great, okay? And it sounds something like this. Again, all in E. Okay, so if I were to play that straight, it would... But if I had it on like a bit of character, and that comes with the bend, so we're, we're going to lick straight away. We've got 40. Can I lick? You can either pre-bend it or you can bend into it, whichever way you want. That's not the important part. The part is the important part is the way you come out of the actual bend itself. So uh, 14 bend. So back, sorry, 14 bend. And then we're gonna pull off to the 12 and bend again without touching on the picking hand. And then you could. So we got 14 on the D, 14 on the A, back to 14 on the D, 12 on the G, back to resolving on the E, or E flat again. Okay. Now it's not going to get, uh, sound great because I'm trying to balance the audio and shoot this quickly so the tone coming out here is not my usual kind of tone but again this is an informative lesson rather than searching out tone. You crank some nice reverb on it and get a good bit of tone and this is this is a fantastic lick. Uh, a lot of feel and a lot of dynamic in it you know like I said crank that reverb get some gain behind this one and this one this one's great. That, that whole thing you can move anyway. It's that, it's the whole, that little bend after the first bend. <laughs> Mustn't use this hand, okay? So first, you hit that first note strike it. <laughs> that little pull off to the bend. And it's a little microtonal bend, okay? Okay, so from the top, we've got... Okay, guys, I hope, guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share where you can. Thanks for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. Peace.